night we party, my friends. Sip on mezcal, I like tequila, damn this shit tasty. Can you not, I made about a million off a of pimpini. I feel like my life is a movie, damn it's too easy. Can't catch me, I'm jumping the borders, hit the embassy, it's bag or die. What's up, dope dub? Did you miss me? It's your host, Dylan Jacob. <laughs> DJ? We're changing the name. <laughs> What's the reason for Dylan Jacob? I was sick of introducing myself at Skane Fest and getting weird looks. So I am officially <laughs> oh, Dylan people Jacob. Oh, people thought you were making jokes? I'm so sick of saying the N-word, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Accidentally. No. I'm your host, Dylan Jacob. Sitting beside me is my best friend. That's Kevin Sanchez. Gang, 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 gang. Sitting on the other side of the table is my other best friend. That's DC Boop Boop Williams. DC, how you feeling? Uh, I feel good. Feel good. Uh, it feels it feels good to have the band back. For Bands episode. back together. So, it's been a minute. It's you know, been a I minute, mean, man. Somebody minute. busy out there, you know what I mean? Somebody, somebody, somebody out there on. opening for one of the biggest comics in the world right now. Yeah. He goes by Dylan Jacob <laughs> now, <laughs> which is crazy because now no one knows who that is that opened up for him. <laughs> 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 they know Dylan Negri opened up for him. Who's Dylan Jacob? All <laughs> they remember, anyways, is Dylan. They uh, hear true. Dylan, they know who the fuck it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah but um, man, Dylan's opened up for Big J right now, bro. I'll still be so. Dylan Negri. Amazing and congrats. congrats Thank you. Him. And he's playing it. He's playing it cooler than he's ever played it. But way uh, cooler but, than he ever played. Actually, too cool, man. I'm like, yeah, yeah. It's where I'm like, where's I'm, the Instagram posts? Yeah, I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> where's the it? crowd shots? I'm like, like, is he okay? Like, <laughs> just like, all right, nah, all you right, know what's cool. You know what's is happening, bro? Remember right. when you got the job and you got imposter syndrome? <laughs> yeah. You know that feeling when you're like, you don't have it anymore. It's just work now. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. if I'm being honest, uh, y'all will see a lot of it. It's all about clips, baby. Crowd work clips. Oh, Crowd work clips. He said he's focused. He said he's there. He's there to do good. Trying to, okay. trying to focus on the... So the reason why Dylan Jacob came about is because I was like, you know what? I need a stand-up profile. That blows me up on the internet. So I will be Dylan. I will be Dylan Negri until Dylan Jacob gets famous enough that Dylan Negri no longer needs to exist. Mm. Is that stupid? So you, okay. So you, well, that's you know, heavy. Yeah, you got to kill heavy. yourself at one point. You got to. Yeah. Oh, bro, it's gonna be Dang. like one of those Kanye videos where yeah, I'm like, yeah. I'm like, I'm strangling someone, mm -hmm. and then I rip off the mask, and it's me. Yeah. And I'm like, that's a Kanye video. Yeah. It's some shit he do. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, Yo, Kanye, you heard it here first. If you take that you idea. take that idea, that's doped up. That's doped up right there, bro. He's strangling himself and he's black for some reason. Just Yo, <laughs> Did you hear that Kanye Yo. verse that's supposedly not real? Sorry. I no, no, I was going to say, uh, at, at, so, so we got to talk Skank Fest. I just got back from Skank Fest. If you don't know what Skank Fest is, it's the world's greatest comedy festival ever. And it happened uh, this year again at Las Vegas. I went. Um, Paco, another comic, went on stage in okay. blackface. No, he didn't. Oh, wow. And kind of hacked. Naked. Though, huh? And also goes, bad. introduces himself. He goes, What's up, guys? I'm Dylan Negri. And, bro, <laughs> it's kind of funny. That was funny. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Yo, <laughs> so, so meta. The <laughs> joke. Just it, is, so... it is a joke. I said that to him. <laughs> and it's funny because me and Natalie were making fun of him one night that he don't got no jokes. He's all laughed out. He's yeah. all laughed out. And Natalie, at one point, he was doing it. He was doing, telling a story. And he was like, and then Blind Mike's like this, and then this person's like this. And Natalie goes, wait, tell that story, but don't do any act outs. And he just mm -hmm. goes, so like this person was doing this, and it was like, oh dude, it was hard to, it was hard to watch. Uh, he's right so the after act he did that, I grabbed him. I was like, you don't do no jokes. Yeah. You don't do no jokes. All act outs. Yo, that's crazy. He did blackface, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Can I tell a funny story? Is that, is that really crazy? Yo. Can I tell a funny story about the blackface Please, thing? Please, sure. He and I'm totally stealing this from him, but he's not gonna be on this podcast. So I thought. Um, he goes to the store and it's shoe polish. He puts real shoe polish what? on his face. And I go, why didn't you get like eyeliner or something or like black lipstick or something? And he goes, I panicked. I went to the Walgreens and he says that he goes up to the counter and goes, do you guys have a, like a charcoal mask? <laughs> and it's like a black lady he's talking to. And she goes, no, we don't. And he goes, oh, okay. Well, do you have shoe polish? <laughs> <laughs> she's like, what the fuck is this? For? Yeah, it's over here. Damn, you think no. she knew? You think wow. she knew? Yeah, I think. I mean, it's it's a hard. It's a pretty it's hard, a hard stretch. It's to... a hard obvious. Natalie, you should run a um, blackface consultant agency. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Before we get into the scam for stuff, though, I do want to introduce everyone else in the booth. Everyone else here. We got Natalie DeChico. You heard her voice. I don't have my iPad. It's still apparently in Vegas. So just. 
Ice, ice, baby. <laughs> How are you? Welcome back. It's nice to be in the, uh, uh, Studio the whole again. team in Studio A again. I know, it's yeah. great. It's great. David's sitting beside her. David, how you feeling? What's good? I'm good. How are y'all? And good sitting man. behind him is the man who was supposed to come to Skankfest, got COVID, had COVID on his birthday, Dang. and Damn. didn't film any of me being... You're like, hey, Dylan, why isn't none of you stunting? Why isn't there a <laughs> vlog of you and <laughs> Brendan Schaub shaking hands and, and all the conversations that you had backstage? <laughs> Did you really have a 20-minute conversation before he went on stage? <laughs> you, the world may never know. Ian, tell them why they might not know. I had COVID. Cut his fucking mic. <laughs> He like he made you look cooler in a way where you're like nah I don't care all that shit happened but like you guys know, yeah, everyone, key, key, everyone, key was, everyone was like Dylan's so humble now <laughs> <laughs> he's like no no Dylan's just <laughs> Dylan's just busy my videographer's sick <laughs> how dare you get sick yeah. why do you have a compromised immune system <laughs> fucking That's asshole fucked up, dude. compromised immune system you compromised immune system <laughs> motherfucker <laughs> otherwise who told you what do you, you live Jersey who told you to come from Jersey why are you drinking that Jersey water that's what got you sick that's what got you sick. Um, but as always, we have to shout out one of you guys, and this is on the clip of the internet's gender, one of my favorites. Most truthful known point of the view of women have seen in a while. Thanks, gents. Also, always there for you when you give exactly what you ask for. Great observation. I don't even know what that is. It's broken. Is it, is, it, is it broken English? Yes. It but it sounds positive. Is it positive? Yeah. Also, yes. I'll take the positivity. <laughs> also, man says he was not in Jersey, so. Uh, well, and was very offended that you would put that on him. Well, don't worry. You'll be fine. <laughs> so, first night of Skankfest, if you don't know this, Skankfest has a stripper sponsor. Nice. And everyone's saying how free it's going to be. Tom's hyping it up. How it's free? How free it's going to be and how dope it's going to be the place to be. Never. So we get into a Sprinter Vans. In front of the Sprinter Vans is a midget dressed as a blue dinosaur. Mm. A hippo. A hippo. Oh, was it a hippo? Yeah, because the place is peppermint. Okay. He was the peppermint hippo. It was a peppermint hippo. Okay. So dancing midget while you get onto the bus. Very weird. It's hot. We get into a shuttle. Female male. I think it was a female. No, I thought it was a guy. <laughs> oh, I thought it was a guy. <laughs> nah, I thought it was a girl. It, it could, maybe they alternate. Yeah, maybe, maybe there's a yeah, couple of them. Maybe a masculine, masculine term. Not necessarily. Maybe. No. Well, okay. I said little person, didn't I? Right? No, you just said midget, and oh, you damn. all assumed it was a guy, because I did too. I was well, like, it was a guy. Let's yeah. hope a midget never becomes president. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I get um, what you did. Well, see, I mean, a midget would never be in politics because they can't reach the books. <laughs> reach the books? I don't know. They can't learn. I don't know. Um, it was a budunch kind of. Yeah. <laughs> so we get to the we get to the strip club from these spinner vans. And I'll tell you these. these Sprinter van? vans? Sprinter vans. Not the spinner vans. Those Sprinter are the girls vans. Like, no, 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 no. Like a Mercedes van. No, no, no. Just like a, a, like a Mercedes door. van. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I know. I know. But you said like a tiny said spinner van. Like a, like a tiny. Our boy's dyslexic, bro. You got to. Like a tiny bus. We're driving through residential neighborhoods. Like okay. We're, like we're driving through, like I see people like have Halloween decorations up and like kids, children outside. Yeah, like well, I'm like, why is this kid outside at two in the morning? Good for you. Yeah. And um, we get to the strip club. They line everyone up. They start letting everyone in. No worries. We get into the strip club and there's hella girls. Yeah. And, and then, again, you said free. Free. Okay. Which and Tom said free. Yeah. Free to get in. Oh, what you, you can't be thrown. There's no mo- there was, you can't never be throwing the word free yeah. and strip club in the yeah. same sentence. Yeah. Bro, I saw people that looked like... Listen, fans, I love you. They looked like underneath the fucking bridge trolls mm. with dime pieces. Just mm-hmm. Yeah. And I just wanted to walk up and be like... Did you, you just did you, you just touch me like I'm the bridge troll and you're the dime piece dude? <laughs> oh, I'm definitely the dime piece. Yo, this guy right here is I, disrespectful. I hate bro. to tell you, you this, that? Kevin. You do look like the big boy in a suit that'll be throwing the money at the at the dime piece. First of all, I'm a beautiful man. Okay. Yeah, you look like you sit in love with these sunglasses. Let me let me get my sexy yeah. eyes real yeah. quick. Uh-oh. Let me look at y'all with those sexy Fuck. eyes. Like, this is just... Fuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the eyebrow. <laughs> Yeah, I would love. I, I've never enjoyed myself at a strip club, but I've never been with friends. Mm. So listen. So listen. I never. Been, I gotta go with friends. We got club. But yo, so <laughs> we get to the VIP section. I see a, a fan make his way into the VIP. A lady comes up. She goes, "Would you like a drink?" He goes, "Yeah." She goes, "What do you want?" Shows him a menu. She goes, "He goes, I'll take one of those." Fifty bucks. She goes, "Okay." Boop 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 boop. He goes, "I'm oh, sorry. I gotta give you his real reaction. I gotta pocket it up a little bit." He, his real reaction was this. Oh, 
120 for a drink, bro. You lying, it's true, bro? Yeah. I, I believe bro? it. Bro, wait, Vegas? for the and, bottle and or the girl, for the bottle? I think it's just a drink. And this girl didn't even hesitate. She was like, "Are you in Tip VIP? Included too. Are you in VIP or not?" Yeah. No, yeah, no, she said that. that. Yeah, she was, yeah, are yeah. you in wait, VIP you, or you, not? So you wait. You didn't so, order a drink then. So I walk away laughing. <laughs> I, I, Yo, because they don't tell I, you shit. I, they bro. don't, bro. They so don't. I you, when I ordered at a strip club, the fir- the first thing they do is they hand you the drink. Mm-hmm. I actually do that at all bars, but like they hand you the drink and then really quick, like he said, it's like it's yeah. Hit, so I'm yeah. sitting there. I go get two hundred dollars out of uh, cash out, mm-hmm. and I go. She's and I go, let me let me go find a dance, bro. Yeah. Oh, okay, good for you, bro. I like a girl. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't buy not a drink. Not a hundred dollar drink. Nah, I'm yeah, good. Yeah. I'm gonna wait for all the VIP people to get a bottle. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Which is what I did. Bing. <laughs> Yo, bro, I you were comics. This, we're poor right I now. I find like, this yeah. dime piece, mm-hmm. and bro, worst decision of my life. Why? She. I should. I should. I should have just like no, no, no. I should just like I should have just left when I could because she wasn't the stripper you want. <laughs> she wasn't the stripper you need. She was a stripper you want to avoid. Why? Because oh, she ain't do she shit. trying to get money out of you, too. Bro, she goes three songs, $250. $250? Hard sell. In really. VIP? I said, I said, I said, I said, what? I said, word? Yeah. Now nah, I'm good. I go, and then, so I agree to a price. Mm-hmm. We get to the... The private room. You're negotiating. <laughs> you got to do that, bro. You uh, gotta, I, got you gotta, kicked out of, I, I got kicked out of Go Go Dance Place to negotiate. Yeah. Wait, Eddie? <laughs> bro. And, and, and it was way less than 250 a dance. Yeah. So, we, oh, for so we agree on a price. So we agree on a price. And she goes up to the, the dude. It's a black dude sitting there with suit on, you know, doing all the numbers for all the girls. Mm-hmm. And he just goes, stripper name? She goes, like, Sapphire. I'm like, mm-hmm. whatever the fuck. I'm like, okay. He goes, all right, so what do you want to do? He goes, she goes, he wants to do 200 for 15 minutes, Poppy. And then he goes, well, a 15 minute dance is 115. And I go, I'm looking at you. I'm looking yeah. at the girl. I'm like, I thought it was 200. Yeah. She goes, oh, it's my, it's my second day here. And I'm thinking oh, about it. Oh, really? She's lying. Yeah. Bro. Oh, yeah. I just realized this now. Yeah. Hey, why did that guy have your back? So, bro, he must, he must, she must not be tipping him out. Go, if you're tipping, if you're tipping, the, if the strippers tip the guy out, yeah, you can do whatever the fuck so, you want, yeah, bro. So, so we 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 go to the corner. She goes, "Wait, you still accepted the dance? You didn't ask for a discount? You pay the one fifteen or whatever?" So, so I start negotiating again. Uh, <laughs> I renegotiate. <laughs> and, I'm like, and I'm like, "Yo, I want thirty minutes. Yeah, two hundred. Yeah." And she goes, "I don't usually do this. I don't. I'm putting this action. I don't usually do this." But uh, she goes, "All right, bet." took so long to get into that fucking VIP room. I was already, like, over it. We finally get in there. She goes, oh, by the way, Poppy, you also got to get two drinks. Uh, Bro, that's how I you order. I you. go, what do you want? I go, she goes, you like tequila? Uh-huh. I go, yeah, two tequila pineapples, which y'all know is my drink. Yeah, yeah. I finished mine quick because I know what I'm trying to do. Yeah, yeah. I put mine down. She's dancing. I pick up her drink. Drinkers too. Yeah. That's for me. <laughs> yeah, Put yeah. that down. Fifteen Ooh. minutes in, she goes, "Did you drink my drink?" I said, "I don't know what you're talking about." Uh-huh. I said, "I think I, oh, I must have confused the two. There's still some in the other one. It was melted ice." Yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, so she's dancing, and uh, oh, before she gave me the dance, I told her, "You know, I go to strip clubs. Mm-hmm. I like girls, mm-hmm. so this better be a good dance." Mm-hmm. And I'm, and she goes, "This, oh, this is me the best dance you ever had." I go, yeah. "Really?" I go, "What if it's mid?" <laughs> and I go, "I go, if it's mid, what happens? I get my money back or something?" She goes, what? No. So I go, she goes, what? It's going to be great. It's going to be great. I go, all right, bet. Do you still got a tip? Yeah. On, uh, oh. So I ready? So she starts I mean, dancing. I you have to. She starts it. dancing. Damn, this bitch mid. Oh, my gosh, she's mm-hmm. mid. How's she dancing? Describe the dancing. Actually. Unenthusiastic. Dance for us a little bit, Dylan. Okay, ready? <laughs> dance for us a little she's bit. What she was doing? Like someone she's was making her be there. She's just like. She's just like this. Oh, wow. No, she's not doing that. She's not doing that. She's doing the sit thing. And then, bro, she'd do the knee thing. She'd be like, mm. Mm. Are the, are the cheeks clapping? Bro, nah. But nah. And bro, the, is there any waves? Every time, every time, every time my hand got close to anything good, she was like, mm-hmm. And then I was like, can I get a nipple in the mouth or something? And then she was like, they're watching with cameras, Poppy. I'm like, I'm watching that ugly dude do it. <laughs> He's wearing a Skankfest badge. Mine says artist. His says fucking day pass. Let a man get a nipple. And bro, she starts sweating. What do you mean? I have a Grateful Dead shirt that smells so bad right now in my crib. Like it needs, it doesn't need to be washed. It needs to be burned. Like Jesus Christ. she gives, so she, she so sweats. she's sweating and she keeps going. 
This never happens. This never happens. This never happens. Well, she starts dancing again. Sweats, bro. She goes, this never happens. This never <laughs> happens. She's getting, I think, the Coke sweats. And um, so she she's doing that. This never happened. And I keep kind of being like, can I can I get anything like extra fun? Like, can you want a refund? <laughs> like, so so about like 15 minutes in, she goes, you don't look like you don't look like you're enjoying it. I go, because I don't think I am. And she goes, why? What? What? What's wrong? She goes. She like laughs. No, you're joking. I go, I go. Would you enjoy this? I was like, if I was hella sweaty, dancing and charging you three hundred, what would you do? <laughs> and she goes, What? No, watch. You're gonna have fun. Watch. Okay, watch. I'm gonna do a move. I'm gonna do a move. <laughs> she goes, That's she, hilarious. She goes, so sit back. That's hilarious. Sit back. Sit back. Fucking. Oh, headstand. Oh, oh shit. Headstand. Fucking... Some bullshit. Fucking... Some bullshit. Fucking bullshit. Yeah. Fucking <laughs> bullshit is what it was. And then and then she goes, How was that? I go. <laughs> and bro, I'll tell you. I smell something different. I'm <laughs> yeah, I'm waiting for this lap dance to end. But that's hilarious. There's a golden there's a golden nugget at the end of this tunnel. I get back to the VIP lounge. Mostly everyone's gone. It's a little bit later in the night. I see Chris Fager, some other dudes, in a bottle of tequila. Pour and it has some hookah. Pour on that tequila, hand some hookah. Two girls are hanging out in that VIP section. <sighs> Kevin, you know why you're my best friend? What's up, buddy? Why do you think? Um, Because I'm a real man. No, because you're Dominican. Thank oh. God for Dominicans. <laughs> this Dominican chick <laughs> comes up, sits down on my lap. <clears throat> she ain't asking for money. She just want that goddamn hookah. Oh, <laughs> yo, so no, she did it. So she Hold just on, she did I don't smoke hookah. hookah. I know who bought it. They're gone. Mm -hmm. Can you do a Can you do a future impression? A future? No, not like, really. Uh, I wanted you to do a dance for yeah. the hookah. I fucked it. <laughs> I fucked Scott, Scotty Pippen's wife. Yeah, that's um, sensational. 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 <laughs> um, sensational. <laughs> um, so, bro, sensational. she's just sitting on my lap, big fake titties, and bro, in the open out, she would turn around. Put it in my face. I'd be like, I get a nipple in the mouth. She'd... And bro, go at one room. point, she put her ass in my face, made him clap to my face. I was what? like, and I literally said to her, I go, where the fuck were you 30 minutes ago? You would have had $400. You were dancing with a white girl earlier, weren't you? Fucking. Her. No, it's funny. She was Spanish, but like grew up white. Oh, no, like she... a, a real Spaniard, not a Dominican. Yeah, yeah, bro. She was saying Bobby she, all off beat she, and shit. Yeah, bro. She was like, she was like, how you Bob doing? She's she, how you doing, Poppy? <laughs> hey, Poppy. I was like, are you talking about my grandfather? Like she was trying to do it. Yeah, she was yeah, trying to do it. She don't really talk no, about no, that. bro. I had a few white girls say Poppy to me in bed, and only one, two of them got it right. Two nah, bro. This right. this next show was, bro. This next show what was you so wanted, fun. Yeah. But nah, bro. This next show was so fun, and I'm telling you, Did for you tip her? for a hundred dollars, she sat there, drank alcohol that wasn't mine, smoked hookah that wasn't mine. Yeah. Made me the coolest. I was sitting in the corner of the VIP, just dancing, just talking to Fago. I was like, Fago, ho, whoa, and just yeah. having fun, having conversation, literally having conversation. Dude, we're next. I'm telling you, dog, we're the fucking next up. We're the next up. <laughs> hey, look hey, at our lives, around, man. Around, it's a drunk strip club conversation. Right Thank there. you. And dude, how, and, let me put this nipple in my mouth. And dude, right guess what? Guess what she did? She's even how cool she was. I cash after. <laughs> That's how Dominican she was. Yeah. She was like, yo, they're gonna take 15%, just cash at me, daddy. Yeah. She, yo, dude, <laughs> they're gonna take 15%, take, just cash at me, poppy. The other chick hates her job and shit. Yeah. And I cash yeah. after and I went about my day and it was, yeah. mwah, so it was you beautiful. spent $500 in a strip club. <laughs> that's all I heard. Yeah. So, Sir, $500. That's, no, bro. honestly, that, that's, that's not like, going wait, over. That's not going too wait, crazy. That's, wait, that's, going, that's right. Ready? Yeah, yeah. Ready? Now let's talk about going the positive direction. Okay. I knew how much money I spent, so I was not going to spend any more money the rest of the weekend. I was going to drink for free, party for free, drug for free, mm -hmm. everything for free. Skank fest. You call the Skank bank fest. and dispute it? <laughs> no, it's funny. Want to know how bad? Want to know how bad my purchases was? The bank called me to dispute them. Yeah, <laughs> you should play. I don't know. Expect I that. swear to God, I got a call yeah. from Bank of America the next day. They're like, "Was this you?" And I had to be like, "You can neither confirm nor deny." Yeah, right. it might have been me. They go, they're like, buddy, you don't got a lot of money to spend like this. I was like, yeah, he, I, I know. Like, shut the fuck up. I, like, I agree, Sarah from Bank of America. Yeah. Um, so, uh, fuck, what was I talking about? Positive direction. Oh, positive direction. So I'm sitting there, I'm watching. So Roseanne Barr and uh, Violent J from ICP are on Skanks at the same time. Oh. It's a crazy episode. Everyone's trying to watch it. And I'm sitting where there's like a big curtain dividing where you can't see it. But you can't see it. And then there's like seats. So I'm standing on the seat leaning in to the like into the showroom. 
to watch the show. Dude taps me and goes, yo, Dylan, can I give you $30 to just scoot in? So I got $30. Awesome. And then the next day, I had a little baggie of something. Sold that for 120 Got some mushrooms. Mm. Sold that for 60 They came back for the other more mushrooms. Talking to Mike. Sold that for 60 Came They came back for more mushrooms. Yeah. Sold that for 60 Nice. How much mushrooms did you have? Shut up. I still have more. So Damn. 30 to buy that math. for 60 David, you're quick at math. 30 <laughs> plus 120 plus 60 plus 60 What is that? I think it's 270 but yeah, there's all right, we didn't get all of it back. Half, you got a yeah, little, half. little more than a little half. half, a little more than half. half, a little more than half. It's not that Which bad. Which is fair. It's fair. That's fair. For a fu- but and then and then, I don't want to say this, did but you, you sure you want to say? It? I did try going back to the strip club. <laughs> Yo, you had a vid, bro. <laughs> that should be happening, bro. I gotta go back. <laughs> That should never happen to you, bro. No. So I went to the strip club by myself so, once at like three a.m. <laughs> so I got a, so I got an Uber to the strip club again. <laughs> got there wearing my Florida Panthers jersey, and the guy goes, "Can't wear that." And I go, "What?" And he goes, I, "I'll say it again. I can't wear that." And he was a big ass black dude, and I was like, "Yes, sir." <laughs> and I Saved left. you two fifty. <laughs> Yeah, the yeah, universe did to, that. Yeah, the, Let's say it was going to be 250. <laughs> it was sure. another 250 he was, on top. He was looking, he was looking for that Dominican girl. <laughs> yeah. like, have you seen a Dominican with like, fake tits? <laughs> yes. Hey, have you seen a Dominican with fake tits? That's all we have in there. <laughs> and it was wild. It was a good good skank fest. The shows were good. Um, that was a good time. You got to meet, uh, meet Shop. Met, I, I, listen, Brendan, don't listen to any other episode of this podcast, but I want you to listen to this one. You are one of the coolest, most genuine dudes I've ever actually met. Like, it's uh, we... Kicked it off immediately. Talked for 20 minutes before I set. Talked about uh, fucking cars, deep sea fishing, scuba diving. Told him how I used to scuba dive with sharks and shit. He liked that. And I was, and it was a cool little relationship. And then we're joking about how he doesn't want to say my last name. How it's, oh, it's real close to the N-word. And I'm kind of getting sick of that. That's kind of why I want to be Dylan Jacob. And um, he brings me up. I have, the, I have the video. Hold up. I want to bring it. You see that little flash? My phone's broken. I dropped it. Damn. Hold up. I want, him, I want, and, him and Shab are like motherfucking like going over their good childhood and shit. You know? <laughs> That's Yo, funny. you ever been scuba diving? Oh, he's a like, oh, go from six to 12. I love scuba diving. <laughs> I don't know what that voice was. Oh, fuck. Where is it? Yo, bro. Do you think he is ever going to get over the hate? Do you think this did any, like, they put a dent in his, like, uh, I don't know. I feel why like he people just hate keeps him. going. Yeah, you know. That's why I do respect you. Keep going. And I hope you know I'm cha- so I'm changing the intro of the podcast. What? To be a Joe Rogan esque. You know how Joe Rogan has the Joe Rogan podcast by day, <laughs> by night, <laughs> by day. He is a monster in the making. Yeah, dude. It doesn't sound like him. It sounds like a gay or white guy. Possibly the best intro ever for the comic. Gary. He said niggery instead of just. Yo, chill. He did not say that. It's my best friend. How dare you? Nick Gary. My best friend. So I do best friend. Oh, yeah. And then look here. You can see this is a. This is right after that. Look, this watch purpose? how long the handshake is. Watch, ready? Handshake. Say purpose? something, say something. Still talking to each other, still talking to each other. God damn, they're best friends. Yo. Ah! Was this on purpose? Was this on purpose? Was this on purpose? Ah, he's so <laughs> handsome. Yo, Lewis is smart, dog. He's like, yo, let's get these two cringe fest artists to shake each other's hands. <laughs> let's get these two cringe fest <laughs> artists real quick. Dylan kept going around like, you won't believe it. We got along really well. And everyone goes, yeah, we like, can't actually, believe it. <laughs> yeah. Brandon, if you're watching this, follow me back. Please. Oh, you're man. so cool, thought dude. thought it was your best friend, bro. <laughs> clip like, this. That's crazy. Who's our clip guy? David, Mark, and Natalie, timestamp, and Brandon, follow. He found the successful version of Kevin and shit. <laughs> Just like, I'm over this thing. <laughs> I'm gonna, I go on the road. It's me, Brandon, and I'm trying to think of another mid-black guy. Whoa, he called know. you a mid-black guy. He said dude. another, he, he said another man. He couldn't, another he couldn't man. think of me. That's why he was like, oh, shit. As you know, it's just me, me, yeah. Brennan, and DC. <laughs> <laughs> that sucks, bro. He's supposed to be his best friend. <laughs> 
I guess shout out to Brendan Shaw, man. Well, yeah, DC, you know Shaw. how my, my my best friends are fair weather. Yeah, there, there's, <laughs> I, there, I mean, it's interesting. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> it's interesting because like Shaw is like quote unquote hated by a lot of people at Guys Did You, like the fans, right? And, and so is Dylan, Dylan kind of, yeah, 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 yeah. right? Match so made it, it is interesting to like. It's like a it's like a looper scene. Yeah. You ever seen the movies <laughs> Looper, dude? It's like a fucking Looper scene, dude. Well, they, go they get on stage, man, yeah. and they kind of see each other, dude. You see your future whoa, right now, dog. Whoa, dude. By the dude. way, by the way, I hope you know. What, no, so if Brandon Shaw is my future, you know what I see? Millions of dollars. Millions? Bro, we were talking about the shit he does. What? This man is... He go, I go, I go, are you staying at the Golden Nugget He's or the Circa? He goes, no. Trump Hotel. Yeah. The, <laughs> the what? He goes, he goes, he goes, they always get good deals on the penthouse. <laughs> yeah, he's rich, bro. <laughs> what? Yo, guys, you can say whatever. Call me what you want, but you can't call me, bro. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> hey, Dylan. Oh, I, I have news him. to tell you. I love him. You're broke. <laughs> <laughs> but you won't be for long. As of right now. For long, yes. you won't. Don't be. worry, you'll be back on tour next week and you can escape this. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Fuck I this. Know. <laughs> so, so, they may ask you questions about touring. Hey guys, I'm on tour. Go follow me at uh, uh, Dylan, uh, Dylan, comedian Dylan. Yeah. Now, now, <laughs> comedian Dylan Jacob. Are you going to add to Jacob or no? No, it's just comedian Dylan. So, touring. I'm like a black guy. Hey, listen. Tor- what? What a part, bro. Comedian Dylan? They always come out with just comedian this. Dylan. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Uh, you know, y'all saw a whole flyer like that the other day? It was like comedian DJ Jack. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> comedian, Big Barry, Big com- Barry. Big ba- no, yeah. Comedian Big Barry. It's funny, it's funny when they had like random, I was like, comedian Laffy Taffy. You're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> like, yo. Detroit Leon. <laughs> Detroit Leon. <laughs> You'd be like, all right, bro. Um, Upper Peninsula Pete. <laughs> yeah. Bad geographic. <laughs> Bad Eddie geographic, Spaghetti. Bro. Uh, oh, my God. The king of it, the bro. King, bro. Eddie oh, I saw him the other day. No. I saw Spaghetti no. the other day, dog. He's saw, kicking? Was he spaghetti? Was he spaghetti? Yeah, was he trying to sell that book? Was he like, oh, buy this book? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Bro. Bro, he saw me. First of all, man knows hairs. Yeah. Like, yo, man knows hairs, dog. Like, oh, yo, these, these are tiny yo, spaghettis. Yo, <laughs> trim those shits, bro. Hey, hey, no, 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 oh, no. These are, these are Eddie's spaghettis. spaghettis. Oh, shit. <laughs> Where's my soundboard, Natalie? You're fired and rehired. We, we, we don't beatboxing pay in here. <laughs> you can see the... You can see, oh. Eddie spaghetti. Eddie, Eddie spaghetti. Eddie Spaghetti, say what? Eddie, 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 Eddie. Once was a time in both really bad comic would do shit all the time at Broadway. Sell you a book, not tell a joke. God damn, he suck. He never fucking smoke. Sit outside and talk to my friends like, who is this guy? Does he book a show? Does he do anything? Does he make value? He's not valuable. He's not anything. He's not literally anything. God damn it, Eddie Spaghetti. Do something. Eddie Spaghetti, I do not condone this. Just, uh, dropped, he just, that, <laughs> no, he that was who shot the, you. No, yeah. <laughs> First off, Fuck your bitch in the yo, click yo, you yo, claim. Yo, yo. Isak. At least Spaghetti's just a nice guy. <laughs> hey, don't one of you little niggas got sick of cell or something? <laughs> <laughs> you stole DC's joke. <laughs> Eddie Spaghetto. Nah, he made me buy a book, though. That was the worst thing he ever did. Got me new. I was two months into comedy. He's like, buy this book. I was like, I wish I could forget Eddie Spaghetto. <laughs> yeah, me too. Me too. Me too. <laughs> me too. All right. Me too. Um, you were on a roll. <laughs> you were on a roll. That was nice. Call like me it. Butter. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Come Must be funny because I'm on the road. Get him a GPS. He's going places. <laughs> the kids got something. The kids got something. Oh, you saw what I posted? I posted with Brendan Shaw. I go, the fighter and the new kid. I saw that on Facebook. That's fire, that. right? He's going to hit you that. up about the podcast later. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he didn't follow me because of that. <laughs> that's that's so crazy how that happened. And Rick Glassman came to the last show. Bro, 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 stop talking right now. Me and Kevin speaking looked of, at him like. <laughs> speaking of Rick, no fuck Ric Flair. Bro. Woo! Yo, all right, I'm not going to say nothing bad about. Uh, no, I don't think anything bad about him. It was just funny because he was like, I'm Rick. I was like, oh, Rick Glassman. And I was like, yo, let's go get a drink, Kevin. And then yo, then Onika just started laughing. Was that, oh, he, was that Onika? Yeah, yeah, she started laughing because I guess, like, I knew who he was, but we were just like, all right, let's go just nah, go get a drink. That's not what you did. That is. I doubt that I said, Glassman? let's go get a drink. Who's Rick Glassman? Kevin, that's not what I did. I'm going to show you what you did. No, you, is it, you said exactly what you said. Oh. Can you but say who Rick did Glassman it was way is for the people, please? Can Rick. you say who Rick Glassman is? He's like people a podcaster, know. comedian in LA, like writer, TV okay. writer. Yeah. yeah. People know who Rick Glassman is. Yeah, they I'm do. I'm surprised you don't know who Rick Glassman is. Maybe I know. Um, Looks like Jorge. <laughs> yeah, a little bit see? like Jewish Jorge. Can I see yeah, him? yeah. Sure. So he was there holding court. Okay. <laughs> the only reason I said that is because I posted a picture of me and Jorge once, and someone goes, Who is Chat GPT Rick Glassman? <laughs> <laughs> I never heard of him. Okay, go on. 
Um, so what did DC do to this guy? Nah, DC's hilarious, hilarious, bro. Jesus. DC go. So I introduced myself because I forgot his name. You know me, I be forgetting people's names for yeah, no reason. Probably, yeah. So I said, "Yo, what's up? I'm Kev," and he goes. Hi, I'm Rick. Just like that. And that was really weird. I was like, why would you say it like that? Too excited that? about yourself. Yeah, he goes, no, he said it like, you don't know me? Yeah, yeah, it was LA. LA and man. I was like, I get it. Yeah. He is really famous. And I didn't know him. Yeah, yeah. And before I got a chance to say, like, actually, I do know you. Yeah. I love your podcast. You go, what up, Rick Glassman? Nah. That's exactly how you did. No, nah, I, I said Rick Glassman. And he said, yeah. And I shook his hand. I said, let's go get a drink, Kev. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> no, that That's so it. And they just started laughing. I was like, start chuckling. It wasn't. I wasn't even trying to diss but him or you nothing. Know why, you, you know, know what? No, no. But, but on, everyone's you know laughing at DC because he's not dick sucking. Yeah. So <laughs> dope, bro. Bro, 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 bro. That's exactly what was going. I never. I was like, oh, that's what fame really is, huh? Yeah. Like there was so many people on top of him. Yeah. And then like. It was like two yo, people walked in who kind of had energy, like they didn't really care in a sense. But it was it's fine, man. I like Rick you know, Glassman. <laughs> hey, what up, Rick Glassman? Um, That's how I heard it. I don't, you just made me talk and like then a he goes, generic black dude, and then like he a goes, stand-up black dude. No, I, I, I mean that's just how I talk, bro. Yeah. And then, and then you go, all right, Kevin, let's get a drink. Like, <laughs> why are we here with these people? Yes, you folks did reinstate their sponsorship. Oh, hi. Just supporting my baby here. Sorry. Uh, guys, go support Zia Farms because they support Dope Dub. If you don't know this already, I have a real sanctioned fight in Las Vegas. And Zia Farms is the sponsor of that fight as well. They do topicals, ointments, stuff to make your body feel all good. So guys, go to zefhemp.com. One more time. That's zefhemp.com. And go support Zia Farms. Go follow them on the Instagrams. Go follow them in person. It doesn't matter. Guys, Keep hanging out with us and keep enjoying. Let's get back in the pockets because this little baby won't stop nobody. So <laughs> let's get into some plugs. Then you can ask me about the uh, about the road, about the tour. Ooh, Natalie on. God damn, that came in quick. Guys, go follow me at Dylan J. Negri and go follow my stand-up page, Comedian Dylan. Uh, I'm posting a lot on Comedian Dylan right now. It's uh, That's where you can see all my stand-up. It's only stand-up every fucking day. But if you want to follow everything else, my Finsta is Dylan J. Negri. Um, that is my Finsta. And uh, guys, see me on the road with Big J Okerson. I am opening hey. every single date say, with say Big J. Say some dates. Um, give, give the first five. Guys, October 12th, Washington, D.C., October 20th through October 12th through the 14th Washington DC October 20th through the 21st Phoenix Arizona uh November 3rd through the 4th San Francisco and then we'll be in Wyoming November 10th through the 11th and then guys the big one Saturday November 18th live from the casino huge fucking space uh, Philadelphia. I'm going to be there. It's going to be fucking huge. It's going to be a crazy fucking show. If there's any show you're in the, the New York area, November 18th, come to the Philly show. It'll be fucking crazy. But uh, guys, go see our dates. We're still finalizing Doped Up on uh, October. They gave us a funky date and we said nah. nah <laughs> because uh, we, we've been doing some fun stuff. But keep up. Keep up with us. But seriously, if you're listening to this, guys, I want to shout out all the listeners we have. We don't have a, uh, you know, a crazy amount, but I, I looked at the numbers the other day. And there's people listening to this podcast. So if you're made it this far and you're a listener, please go give us a five star review. And uh, thank you so much for listening. I want to shout you out. Thank, thank you so much, you, guys. And thank you anyone that watches, supports, fucking chills, vibes, comments. And even if you're just watching a short clip, let's say a short clip went viral from this episode and you're here because of that. Welcome. We love you. Thanks for being a part of the fam. That was really nice. These, uh, Kevin, have a Yo, you? just follow me right now, Kevin Sanchez Valley on Instagram. Uh, uh, please come to our shows at The Stand. We're working on another show in Pennsylvania outside of Dylan and Big J. And uh, I was supposed to bring my birth certificate for <laughs> next week, my original birth certificate before I got adopted. But that's next week? Oh, shit. But I left it at home today. <laughs> they texted to about it. Uh, but thank you guys. I appreciate y'all as always. And if you see me out there, be cool. Fine and be cool. I like that. If you see me out there, be cool. That's a really that's good a one. That's a fire thing to say. That's a fire if you were one. More famous. I'll be I'm, more so, fire I'm being real with you. I'm I'm stealing that from my sets. Oh, I'm, I'm at my set. Yo, my, yo, guys. I'm Dylan Jacob. And if you see me out there, be cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, follow me online, DC Williams Comedy. Um, I will be at Greenwich Village, uh, October 10th. Broadway Comedy Club, the 22nd, 7 p.m. and 9 p.m. The 23rd, also 7 p.m. and the 24th, 7 p.m. 
and um, that's where you can find the kid. And also, please come to the stand October. It is the last show of the year. Um, it should be. We haven't confirmed the okay. date yet. It should be the last Thursday of October, but we'll let you guys know. Okay, cool. Um, that's and then oh, Natalie Not and David. Chico. Natalie did you go at it's on Instagram watch gas digital now on the gas digital exclusive YouTube channel uh I mean they don't need my shout out but watch the regs I produce that show hey yeah we need a shout out from the regs if yeah, I exactly. hope you I hope you're plugging on there <laughs> <laughs> you think they let me plug absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> what's up how are you doing it's David clash uh you can follow me on Instagram at David clash 47 that's clash with a K follow him on Instagram please don't follow him on the train Ian or you want to plug? Ian, you want to plug something? Get over here. Pause. Uh, Dr. Laser Beam. Hey. hey. Dr. Spelt Out Laser Which is a beam. fire, um, actually, fire. Instagram name. I'm not going to lie to you. Dr. Laser oh, yeah. Beam. Why don't, why don't you plug the vlogs that you create? I do the dope, dope vlog. Fucker. Yo, why are you saying it with so much anger in your heart? Because <laughs> he disappointed me. He disappointed me. You did great. No, you're good. Thank you, you're Ian. Great. Thank you, Ian. All right. So, the role. So, the Dude, can I tell you something? Do this you feel been, lonely? Because uh, every comedian goes, yeah, when you go on the road, you feel lonely. Or is that like some shit you don't feel while well, you're opening for somebody? I think it's different when you're opening for someone. So this is what happens. When you first go on the road as a headliner, they give you whatever opener host they have in the city because they're right? cheapest. Yeah. If you bring a, an opener or a host, they them. have to pay them. And sometimes the ones in locally, they can get away with not paying them. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, I what think a, what a racket, huh? Yeah. I think me and Jay have a close enough relationship that it's like it's not. No, like we're making content. We're having fun. We're going on pedophile hunts. Yo, that was. Did you post that video up already? The pedophile no, hunt. Uh, no, they haven't oh posted it yet. God, I don't know why yo, they haven't. Yo, there's there's a video where Big Jay goes on a pedophile hunt with Dylan. It might be one of the funniest <laughs> things because it's like because if you know Big Jay, you know he likes cops. Yeah, we should have been watching. Right. That. Bro, we should. I, yo, honestly, they, well, as soon as they put it up, you gotta watch it on the show. Because it's so it, fucking yeah. crazy, bro. He's just making quips because I got to see. It. He's just making quips the whole time. Yeah, just yeah. fucking pedophile. Bro. <laughs> it's fucking nuts. I would love to see that. Yo, see seeing that. a big comedian like Big J come through and like do a pedophile hunt with you yeah. has to be a wild experience for anybody. Yeah. You I'll know? Be fun as fuck, though. Yo, Dylan, let me ask you. No, no, don't play it. Don't play it yet. Right. Dylan, wait, wait. Um, bro, that's mad distracting, bro. Gotta pull this up on the big screen, yeah. Yo, what if that guy was like, yo, I'm such a big fan. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll tell you, I'll tell was you he the, afraid of that? <laughs> I'll tell you the funniest thing about it. They were playing his special on the TV. So while these people were getting their life ruined, Big J's special was just playing. And then every time. So he's hearing ha's and he he's while he's being interrogated for being a pedophile, bro. That's crazy. And, and bro, she would always ask him, like, do you know who Big J Okerson is? And one no, guy, And one guy was like. I, one guy, the first guy goes, no. The second guy goes, I think I've heard of him. And Jay goes, I don't know why he was so happy about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I saw, so what was the craziest part about doing that? Whose idea was wait, it? Wait, you said something oh. interesting. Wait, hold on. So he, I'm so sorry, bro. He, he fucking. I have so many stories from the road. So. <laughs> <laughs> I watched a guy get <laughs> shot. I watched a guy oh, get shot. Oh, that's right. Wait, oh, wait, really? wait, wait, wait. In like Texas Be before, shot? Before you have fucking Indiana. You got I nervous. Lay down. You got nervous <laughs> before the pedophile shit. Oh, bro. Why did? Why were you nervous? Because we just showed up to a, a neighborhood that really looked like pedophiles went lived oh there. God. Did they make you be the bait? Uh, <laughs> hey, Dylan, no, you got to shave to be on camera right now. <laughs> Yo, shave your butthole and send a picture, please. Oh, my God. Wow. Um, no, dude, but like... This is the weird... The annoying part is you don't, you don't see it in the first video. I'll show you guys like at home. The first time the guy like jumps out of the room to go catch him, it's me pointing the camera at Jay... And then Jay and Mike Fenoya, the other comic who was there, Jay just looks at me and goes, go, go, go. Go what? Like, I go first. And I was like, what? I thought the whole thing was to oh, video shit. you do this. Well, he has so, to get, yeah, that's crazy. So bro. the second one, we figured it out where I go up first. So I'm like hiding in the bathroom, filming, and he's in the room right there. So I'm filming from here and then cutting to him like that. And he's just watching it through my lens and then, um, it's uh, the second guy at one point goes, he was like, he go, uh, she goes, she, she says to him, you bought weed, right? And he goes, yeah, yeah. She goes, you bought weed here to smoke with a 13 year old. And then, he, go, and then he goes, it smells like weed here. 
<laughs> and then she goes, "That's not a, that's not the question we're asking." And then it cuts, to, and then I cut the big J, and he just goes, "That's us. That was us." Because we were just smoking out on the front porch. I would have loved if Big J was like, "Hey, let me see your weed." <laughs> he was and just start smoking his dude's weed right in front of him. Mm, Pedo weed. Were you guys in people's houses? Yeah, she 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 aired. Yeah, I don't she know. If, I don't know if I should say this. No, she uh she Airbnb'd a house. Oh, to do this. That's kind of oh, crazy. Wow. By the way. Another reason why I just realized I'm never Airbnb in my house. Wow. You can't say no pedal hunts. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, honestly, there's got to be a cl- like, hey. A clause. Everyone should put that. No pedal hunts. Yeah. And if you no are, Santa, bro, No Santa grand. Claus. Yeah. Uh-huh. No what? No Santa Claus. Only Jews. Cla- oh, Claus. Oh, like in the contract. <laughs> yeah, every time you do wordplay, Kim is just like. <laughs> oh, I hate words. <laughs> Damn, I, I've never even thought about like when you Airbnb your home. You probably should really list. You're subjecting out it to anything. You never know. anything. Do you know how much content you're gonna <laughs> that's gonna be made in your house against your will? Yeah, <laughs> which oh, you should yeah. charge them more for, really. <laughs> what, what's if staging like, a what's worse if you're Airbnb in your house? Someone films like a like Brazzers film films a gangbang or Big J films a pedo hunt. Uh, Brazzers films a gangbang because shit's gonna be everywhere. Saliva messier. Yeah. yeah, it's gonna be messier. And also, yeah. you get paid what, but, really but good But what money if on the off chance, yeah, the pedo blows his brains out? That's oh, that even one? worse. Now, now, now you got now you got to sell your house. Maybe like you never know. Oh, did you it, hear about bad vibes? Hold on, did you hear about Florida though? Well, uh, Florida did pass recently that what? if a person rapes anybody on un, un, uh, the age twelve and under, they get a death penalty. That that sounds exciting. And I was like, yo, that's interesting because yeah. like if you it wasn't a I law, thought Florida wasn't shit. That's a great fucking that's law. That's a great that's law. A great dog. law. Shout out to Florida. What was scary about that shit is you're gonna find <laughs> out a lot of people are willing to die. <laughs> yo, that's crazy. You're gonna find out a lot of people are willing to die for this shit, <laughs> that's bro. A solid. I hate bit, saying dude. it, but like. I, what's a PG way of saying kid vagine? Like, there's no PG yeah. way of saying that. Baby pussy? Like, what? That's not PG. What? They got that's worse. A, that's NR17, <laughs> dog. Uh, a young uh, un, wound. Underage. Oh my God, that's even worse somehow. Un, underage sexual acts. Underway, uh, underage. Yo, dude, dying for, uh, dying for kid pussy. Unripe crazy. snatch. I'm sorry, unripe snacks. <laughs> unripe snacks. Yo, but they should no, do, a, but you're they should that do it's a death ripening. penalty differently. What they should do is like, you die how you die in jail. Mm-hmm. But if anybody beats you up, they get less on the sentencing. Like if anybody, fu- like you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, wait, like, wait, wait, they, wait. They should, it should be like, they, like you know the soul train lines. You get <laughs> inmates here, inmates on the left, inmates on the right, and then you get beat up the whole way through. And at the end, you're just like this floppy rag doll, <laughs> bro. That's how, say, that's how that shit should go. Bro. I will say, if you that's kill, if let's you, have fun with this. If you death kill penalty. a pe- if you kill a pedophile in jail, you should get five years off your sentence. Yeah, I yeah, agree. I yeah. agree with this. Yeah, yeah, no. I re- and I think only yeah, Floridian, I think points. only Florida but would do you, this. But do you do you probably run, make it get away with? But it. do you run hey, the Texas, risk? Hey Texas, you gonna be a pussy? Ooh. You gonna be a pussy? You gonna let Florida be the kings of the South? Hey, what Texas. if what if you're also a pedo? What, what? what if you're a pedo and you beat up a pedo? Do you still get five years off? No, they're dying. They, no. They, they, no, 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 no. The way you get years no, off no, no. is if they kill each other. Wait, wait, wait. You know how like Magic Johnson has AIDS, but they but he takes stuff so like it keeps it at bay. He got rich. In that's kind of that's kind of, that's kind of what you have to do if you're a pedo in jail. You gotta kill a pedo every week just to like keep it from going. Like you got. I, fe- I feel like wait, they should be fights to the death. Oh, pedo fights! Pedo yeah. fights. Well, the, the problem is, remember they're 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 going after kids, so they're not very strong. That's true. It's gonna be fights of just like guys with glasses being like. Oh uh, yeah, they are they all yeah. usually like pretty fat. Yeah, nah, bro. It's just is... gonna be a bunch of hold like... on, hold on, hold on, guys. No, no, we should do. We should allow them to make robots so they can do those little robot Yo. fights that are really fun. Like, and then <laughs> whoever loses Dies. doesn't get the kid. My okay. brother doesn't got... what? <laughs> <I'm> sorry, <laughs> my brother had to beat up a guy because oh, he wow. wouldn't show his papers. Like he wouldn't talk about his papers mm-hmm. and what was on uh, his paperwork. Yeah, what what was on his paperwork? Why can't you just lie? You can't lie in jail because even the guards will snitch on you if you're a pedophile. 
Damn, snitch. The guards would be not snitch. The guards would rightfully. If there's anything you should say, snitch on. Well, yeah. well, maybe before you go to jail, you should like, like rape. Like, if you're a pedo, mm-hmm. right before you go to jail, mm-hmm. just sock a fucking police officer and go for his gun. That way, if they ask you like, "Yo, what'd you do?" You'd be like, "I assaulted a police officer." No, bro. You're they not know, lying. They know the original. They know the original story. Why'd you assault a police officer? Because well, he tried to arrest me for pedophilia. Yeah. Shout out Florida, bro. Shout out Florida, hey, shout out DeSantis. Shout out Florida. Stop hating on Florida. Man. Yo, bro, like that's just a real deal. Holyfield law. I, I hope you guys get real crazy. deal. I hope you guys get real, real. deal. Orlando Holyfield. <laughs> I, I hope you guys get real creative with the death penalty when it comes to pedophiles. Mm-hmm. You what's, know? Like, what's the most creative Feed way? The alligator. What's I mean, the most creative I, way you can kill someone? I just, I just gave you a great what? one. Yeah, he did the yeah, Soul Train. The soul line. Train line. Oh. A violent soul train line. A violent soul train <laughs> line, bro. Do you throw a motherfucker to that to the swamp, the swamplands in Florida? Ooh, the Everglades. No, but that's too Under fast. Under twelve. That's too fast. That's too fast. Uh, that's no, really? no, no, no. You put him in the water, hit a little drone action, and you're just gonna watch a guy go. Or, or you get, or you, or, what is or it? Dylan, you host the fights on the Everglades. Whoever gets knocked out gets thrown into the. Into that's the what river. they should do with. Pedophile, people accused of pedophilia. We should make entertainment out of them, like it was back in the day, where they would make gladiators fight and they're in prison. Yeah, because those guys were prisoners. Make those them, guys committed. Make them do crazy oh. shit. No, that the, I will say, the only group that you can ironically the only shit t- on without oh, man, anyone go saying go. anything is pedophiles. You can yeah. call like we need like we need like an f word for pedophiles. Like I need like a I need like, like a slang curse word. Pedophile, for pedos. bro. Pedophile. Nah, bro. I, I need like. Yo, Dylan, if you're a fucking pedgy. Pedo- you're a fucking Pelia? pedgy, bro. No, no, no. Pedo- you're a fucking pedgy, bro. Don't talk to me. I don't talk to pedgy. A pedo, pedo. Bro, if, nah, I bro. Walk, if I walked up to you at a bar right now, and you tonight, me pedgy? And I was like, yo, pedophile, you would fucking lose your mind. Yeah. Nah, bro, we need like a curse. No, word. that is the I curse actually word. wouldn't turn around because it couldn't <laughs> apply to me. Yo, we should. Wait, got a YouTube idea. We're going to a bar and say, pedophile. Whoever turns around, we fuck him up. That's <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait until the security guard turns around <laughs> and the funny. three of us go. Nah, 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 nah. This guy must be born in Greece. Oh, no, no, you gotta walk into a bar and go. Can't that guy's a pedophile, <laughs> and see who turns. Yo, that'd be yo. If someone starts sweating and touching their chest, bro, that would be hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> yo, you guys want to do that video? Just go up to random people, and be like, I know what you did. I know, I know. Oh, that's, I was like, I'm not going to. I, I, I know, I know, I know, you, I know you're texting that young girl until we whoa, find one. Whoa, until we find one. Whoa, bro. Some people own businesses, man. <laughs> All right, whoa, dude. I do want to run up to people and pretend they're famous, like absolutely normal people. Oh my, oh my god! And just harass them with that. I've been getting pretend famous looks a lot recently. What does that even mean? I went to a pizza shop. I was I with, I was at Ian. Ian knows this. Uh, I went to a pizza shop, and the dude in there was like a Gas Digital fan, and he goes, "Are you Dylan? Like Dylan from Gas Digital? Like yo, bro." Yo, good fucking it's just like what would it just kept ch- chatting me up and watching the owners go from what? Like I was bro, they were just saying shit. Bro, they kept saying shit, looking at me, saying shit, yeah. looking at me. Just and then Indian I was people? And then yeah, and then I was oh. and then I was at the and then I was, it wasn't like I wasn't doing English. Um <laughs> and then I was at the airport. He's like, why is he a dollar pizza right now? <laughs> yeah. I don't get it. He's like he's famous, okay. but he had dollar pizza, I don't understand. Uh, and then oh, now he's Spanish again. <laughs> now he's Spanish. Um, That's the only people that run dollar pizza. And then so. he, and then I was at the airport leaving Skank Fest, and some dude behind me goes, "Yo, bro, thanks for all the fucking laughs this weekend." And I'm wearing a hoodie, sunglasses on. Like Dylan's dick was mad hard, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this dude, this dude had the meats out, bro. Like <laughs> looked at his girlfriend like you could never do this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm better than you. I'm stronger than you. I'm funnier. Um. No, and then I kind of just walked away, and I watched the family be like, who's that guy? Mm-hmm. And having a who's that guy mm-hmm. really kills the... Alleged fame. <laughs> it's like, like alleged It really kills the, yo, thanks for all the laughs this weekend. Yeah. Ah. That's cool, too. Who's, who's that, that guy, guy, you know? Yeah, who's that guy is a good... Is that I guess who's that guy is nice. Yeah. They're wondering. That's another level to be at. I do, a, I do a thing, though. Like, I really... When I'm, in, when I'm walking through an airport, I feel like I always look like someone who is trying to hide fame, because... I'm always black hoodie, hoodie up, sunglasses on, no matter what. You know you're doing that on purpose. I love it. Yeah, you love yeah. it. Bro. I, I don't, I don't, I don't know, I don't <laughs> know why you're doing You incognito. You're doing about... it because you're tired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that too. He's doing it because I have bags under my eyes. <laughs> yeah, I didn't sleep in. Yo, three what did days. someone say to me? To, like, someone saw my bags under my eyes and it was like, was it David? Someone was like, yo, listen, bro, if you're over thirty, 
Oh, sorry, you're not over 30. Oh, watch, watch, ready? Y'all, y'all <laughs> want to see something crazy about me? I realized this in the mirror when I was on mushrooms. Look, ready? I'm a, you're not supposed to do that. No, no, look at me. Look at me. Uh-huh. Kid, watch the bags turn to blackness. Kid, hatred. <laughs> now, now, now. Kid, hatred. Like, yo, look how they just form, bro. School. Shooter. Student. Shooter. Student. Shooter. Twink. Twonk. Top. Bottom. Bottom. <laughs> I think it's the other way around. Yeah. I was going to say. Top. Yeah. top. Yeah, top. Yeah. I fucked that up. What? I fucked it up. I'd fuck you Mm-mm-mm. up. I, Whoa. <laughs> I don't know if that was gay or what. That bro. was mad sexual. Yeah, something was sexual about something that. Something was too sexual. I never felt like that, that about an attack. Attack. Wait, what? <laughs> you know how it many was... you know how many of our clips end with you with us having an intelligent conversation? And then you I, not intelligent, I take that back. Having us having a conversation. Yeah. <laughs> and then you going. Yeah, but then you did don't do that. And I was just going, <laughs> <laughs> what? Dude, Some the other, amount of like, he, and, and the editor adds Juvenile. this like, twing, like <laughs> sound. Whenever you break up the conversation and it's, it's so, pr- dude, we'll be like, dicks. yo, Antarctica and this and this. And be like, but at least your dick ain't cold. <laughs> it's just like, what? Where did that come from? Have you Put noticed? Put dick in the ice. <laughs> Make it feel nice. Ooh, eating some rice. Where's my ice spice? She talking so nice. Talking so nice. Living my life. Hey. Living my life. Oh, I'm sorry. Like right? <laughs> oh, since I get real meek, I was like, dude, if we, if we, yo, dude, it's, 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 woo, it's 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 spit on the dick. Spit on whoa. Don't know why I said okay. that. <laughs> <laughs> it's because I'm in your ear. <laughs> it's like, whoa, that was too much. <laughs> I, I short circuited it when you said that just now. You, what? I short circuited oh. it. Right there. You know what I realized about Vegas? Fuck. And I want you to clip this. Vegas sucks and is the worst yeah. city we have. That's what that. you realize? Because you know what Vegas is? It's the- it's us being forced to party like our parents. All our parents want to do is spend eight hundred dollars to see some whoopee, see some nipple. Mm-hmm. Whoopee sex, sorry. Like remember back in the day where they would like show an ankle and that was like oh, oh, oh. Yeah, peep show. Peep shows. Mm-hmm. There's no bottomless in in Las Vegas. No, no. People want adults. Our parents want to spend eight hundred dollars to see nipples, pay thousands of dollars to gamble just so they can smoke yeah. cigarettes Old indoors. West. Yeah, yeah. Bro, download your fucking brother's ste- fucking your friend's stepsister's OnlyFans, smoke a fucking vape, yeah. like a goddamn adult. For the experience, though. Nah, bro, it is, bro, I <laughs> That's I, I have Vegas Dylan. every day, of every week and every day of my life. I Oh, by the way, and, oh. and, and go play some Fortnite, go spend some VC, gamble, <laughs> gamble on some video games. Yeah, but they want to gamble drunk in person with prostitutes, that's why you go to Vegas. But do you know how many old people I saw with, dude, like, with girls they weren't like, supposed to have? That's not yeah. fun. Yeah, yeah. It's Everyone like, knows your business, yeah. just go on OnlyFans and move on. <laughs> Wait, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sit here. Mm-hmm. And disparage a whole economy <laughs> in Vegas. All right, these old men want to walk around with women they don't deserve. Yeah, I love dude, the women whole women town wants. is sticky, and I don't know if it's from fucking beer or cum. Uh, both probably. I watched I you know. and Natalie both say both at the yeah. same time. <laughs> it's a cue and cum. I Vegas is not for people who. Uh, that's why you go when you're young, when you are inexperienced of life, right? Like your life is too crazy to care about Vegas. Living my life, hey. <laughs> yeah, I so think if you're there for a reason, it seems to be more fun as opposed to just going to Vegas. To also, I, I don't want to go again. I'm, I think I'm it's gonna be that's what he again. said when he came back from Vegas. Too. I think he he's going like, to be there again. I just just places for zombies, not, meth addicts. It's not, thank God. Thank, honestly, I can't do Vegas, bro. It, it, it was hard for me to be there. That shit was yeah. like every ounce, of, every part of my being was like, you got to get out of here, bro. Yeah, isn't it? It feels like a place where you, you, you need to be enthusiastic about being in Vegas or it doesn't work, kind of. I don't because everyone know, there bro. is like excited to be there. But you, and I was there with people I kind of want to party with. Yeah, but is, sometimes you're reluctant to be places. You know, the problem is the little strips like on Fremont Street. They're fun when you're like sober and you just get there, and then when you're it's like three in the morning, you're drunk, you're trying to get back to your hotel room. Holy shit, you want to just? I was going to a fight with six black dudes. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with my mouth. It was like you on the couch with them all behind you, like that picture of the girl. 
Wait, you were oh, there? I almost got into a fight with my booty. Um, bro, I was walking back to my hotel room on my phone. I look up. There's a bunch of dudes just looking at me. I go, oh, shit, my bad. The guy goes, yeah, you're bad. And I go, hey, man, I already apologized. Mm-hmm. No need to be a dick. Yeah. And, dude, when they all turn, you're they're right. all wearing, like, long white T-shirts and denim jeans. Mm. <laughs> you're, mm-mm. Black Air Forces? It was Dave Temple. It was. <laughs> I was like, Dave, I'm sorry. But, dude, I started doing the thing where I started walking, and I walked away confidently, and I pulled out my phone. I put it on black. And I was like, I'm trying to see what's behind. Trying to see, see, trying to see yeah. if anyone's following me. Because, bro, I'm an idiot. I don't know why I would do that. Oh, yeah, and then, uh, sorry, ADHD. I didn't even tell you guys. In Indy, watch a dude get shot. How did that happen, bro? Like some old Western we cowboy were shit. Leaving, yo, did you guys know that Indy is, Indianapolis is actually the shittiest town in all of America? Um, I didn't know that, but I could see that. Dude, they it's just a big mall they hang around with a bunch of clubs where people get shot so often that everyone's like, yeah. Wait, the mo- the clubs are the in clubs the are area. in malls, and then the, no, there's a big mall that's surrounded by more restaurants and clubs. And dude, like when you say clubs, you mean like bro, like bars, dude, restaurants. Yeah. yeah, but we were leaving the comedy club, got around the corner. Jay and Mike were going like around the corner and I was saying bye to someone. So I was like five, ten feet behind them. And then I start running after them, like jogging. I cut the corner and I just see bah, 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 bah. And bro, everyone starts running. And bro, when you're in a crowd where everyone's running, I shot you down, bang, bang. Y'all wanna see the video? You got the video? Uh, not the video of the dude. Dude, why didn't you send this to Nat? You got the video of the guy that sh- was shot or the guy that was um no, the guy that got shot. shooting. Uh, no, the guy that got We shot. maybe don't want to get pulled from YouTube yeah. showing a recently but, shot man. The here I show recently shot. I mean, that motherfucker is bleeding out potentially. Down. It's crazy. Hold on. Let me show the. Here, keep talking. Oh, here it is. Oh, bro, that's fucked up. You didn't show me this before. What the hell is Why is he naked? They. Was, I'm, oh no! I'm sure they why ripped off. Have, I'm sure they ripped off his shirt to try to help him. To, yeah. but why? Why did? Why is his pants down? I mean, might as well give him one, 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 one final go, Kevin. <laughs> Kevin, if you were dying, I'd fucking be like, "He's my homie." Yo, yo, so, you so would, your bladder hold explodes, on, bro. Are you saying you will you will make sure I come one last time? If, if you looked shot in front of me, if you looked at me in the eyes and said, "Dylan, I'm about to die. I think this is my last moment. I need I need one last one. My hands don't work." I know, wow. I know you're big, so I do both hands. I wouldn't do that. You wouldn't do that for no, me, bro. No, no, I wouldn't do that. You wouldn't jerk me off for love. No, I, 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 I will, I would, I would call your mom and I'd be like, "Yo, listen, I, I thought you know my mom. I don't want her to do it." <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just like, you know, I thought he was gonna be one of the biggest comics, and just I'm a uh, let me get his notebook if you. <laughs> Are you talking about? Yeah, 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 yeah. Bro, I, don't know. I, know, I thought he was also talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are cucks, fuck you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Kev, oh, yeah. would you Kev return the favor? I'm not a cuck, like I'm a cuckerer. Yeah, you're cuck-er-er, a cuckerer. Cuck-er-er. Cuck-er-er. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kev, would you return the favor for Dylan? Would I give him a. <laughs> Wait, that, Yo, that's, that sounded, sounded real like nasty. you ate it. <laughs> it's like you ate it. Oh, wow, okay. So Kevin, you maybe you would. You have a future in uh, sound making. Wait, can you can you do here? Can you can you make sounds for what I do? I don't know. Like, uh, as I do them, make the sounds. Let's see what you do. <laughs> I'm too. My, I'm cotton off. Mm. <laughs> anyway, mm. you didn't yeah, like it. This nigga gave up. <laughs> <laughs> the fastest Man, shit, didn't believe. <laughs> no, I, I'm really cotton off, so I can't. Oh. I had this. Would you? Hey, would you return the favor? That's masturbate deep. me now off you, on, my, like, on my deathbed. Now you're ask on your deathbed. Yeah. And you said, Kev, masturbate Honestly, me. Bro, I, 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 I will pay the nurse. You'd pay the nurse? I'll pay the nurse. That would probably be the best thing to do if he's really your homie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll pay the nurse. Send, send, send some chick to take care of it. Or, bro, you know what but I But I don't do? really come quick. That's why she's loving, loving me. You know what I would do? You know what I would do? For real, for real? If you're on your deathbed, when Oh, Dylan's about to go, I would just count. Every time I go visit you, I'll have a prostitute ready. Yeah, but mm. don't, please don't make it this first stripper from the story of the first story because I don't need a sweaty bitch just. Yeah. Bro, in my bro, last moments, bro, it'd, we'll be, it'd be it'd be it'd be it'd be straight Wolf up of Wall Street. Oh yeah, ask fucking I two. Love that. Mm-hmm. I love blue it. chip, not blue chip whores. Blue chip. No, no, that's the, blue the chip, top. The blue chip were not the top. 
No, blue. The blue chip stocks were the the oh, low shit. They, no. Yeah, yeah. They had you, blue chip, then they had red, and then they had something else no, like no, the top of the line. Pink sheets. Pink sheets. Or the bottom. Or the I'm bottom. More of a oh, blue chip. Blue the, chip. The best. Top of I'm line. more of a barbecue line. chip kind of guy. Barbecue chip kind of guy. Oh, uh, you want a you want a girl with chlamydia? No, I want her to be brown. <laughs> and tangy. And t- <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, that's uh, that's uh, Saweetie, whatever her name is. Uh, so, who, yo, bro, wait, wait. Who does a uh, um uh my put my Pussy pink, a booty hole that's, brown. That's, that's, um, red, sexy red, sexy red, sexy red. Sexy red, can I, can sexy red is a barbecue chip of a human yeah. being. Can I say something about her? What? Don't she she look like she got broad shoulders? Oh, you uh, saying she's a man? I didn't say she says, got broad shoulders. Everyone says she looks like Young Thug is what the internet Yo, says. Yo, bro, something's odd about this chick. And like the way she's describing the pussy is like she never looked at a pussy before. Mm, pussy's pink. My booty holes are brown. If you, it's, it's like she's ethnic. like, I can't believe pussy's my pink. My pussy's two tone, comes <laughs> off the ground, got some balls behind it. Where my time? <laughs> it's like, wait, whoa, whoa. you're describing a penis. Yo, man. Yeah. Uh, no, she looks nope, more back like in. A, she hella looks, face yeah, tats. she looks more. Uh, that face tat stuff is crazy. Yeah, hella, I think that's why I think she looks so tats. masculine. It's oh my! Face Can you we go down to the one below that with the two girls? That's Christian. I Rock. hate Christina. Yo, she's Rock. Christiana, she, Christiana her, Rock. Yo, she says my favorite thing, her and her boyfriend, Blueface, oh, is uh, whoop de whoop de wham when they're done talking about something. They go like, yeah, so Blueface punched me in the face, whoop de whoop de wham, we made up. Mm-hmm. And then, I love that shit. Whoop de whoop de wham. This nigga's That's from what a we should dysfunctional call family, bro. Whoop de whoop de whams? Whoop de whoop de whams. But yo, what happened if, what, uh, let's, uh, that, that should be... That's what it should be called when you kill a pedophile for less time on your sentence. Woo-dee, I did a whoopty whoopty wham. I did a whoopty like whoopty wham. Yo, how'd you get two years off your sentence? I whoopty whoopty, whoopty, whoopty wham, wham, dog. <laughs> what you? That also sounds like Derek Gaines' next joke. Whoopty whoopty wham. Whoopty whoopty wham. Whoopty I wanted whoopty to name whoopty of a special. Wham. Wham. I wanted to do it on stage, but it was so hard because I performed with way too many white people, mm. and they don't. They like they're so lost, bro. When it comes to anything with black, like real black, yeah, culture. yeah. A real urban culture, I should mm-hmm. say. There's certain punchlines that you just won't work. Some things yeah. are just for me when I'm up there sometimes. I'm like, I'm saying dips at Depends if you're at Whip. That's what people say like... when they're bombing. <laughs> That's what I, at least I say. When, I, when, I, when a joke doesn't go in, that one's for me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, people are no, no, you so, no, you should always say that. You should uh, always say that. Uh, yeah, nah, bro. I mean. Mm-hmm. Is it what? <laughs> Is it what? <laughs> Is it what? The, so- the song goes out. The song goes out to Brendan Schaub. Because I understand. <laughs> Some people hate. But motherfucker, we rich! <laughs> By we, I mean you. Oh, God, it hurts. Guys, this has been another great episode of Doped Up Comedy. I am your host, Dylan J. Negri. Sitting beside me is Kevin Sanchez. The and on the other host. side of the table is D.C. Williams. Host. You. We will see you next week, guys. Great fucking episode. Peace out, y'all. Woopty woopty wham.